I never go to the go to the media and say, oh, I'm the best player, I don't say that, but in my mind, yeah. How long are you going to play today? I don't know, really. <laughs> 50, 50. Keep on going. Keep like on this going. Japanese guy, Miura. <laughs> Does it make you greedy for more? Oh, yeah, yeah. Massively greedy. I'm starving, really. <laughs> Obviously here today to see us hopefully take the sail out and then we're flying to Paris um, and I was there 41 years ago in uh, 1981 to see us beat the same team Real Madrid and we're going to do it again. Yeah you get that feeling today seeing the coach come in and there is a slight feeling about today that it could turn into a, a truly unforgettable day and obviously we've got next Saturday to look forward to as well so it's a good time to be a Liverpool fan. Nervous but excited, I mean there's a lot that could happen. Um, hopefully we come out with the Premier League title, Steven Gerrard does the job for us. It's tough to, to explain what's happened today because we were initially very, very close to the title. We must to be proud of these fellas because they, they, they won. They, they did something. They did something unbelievable this season. To come so close, especially with Villa being two 0 up as well, it had us thinking of, uh, of glory again, and maybe we even being on for the quadruple. But it wasn't to be. Anything what we achieved this season and what we're doing and the play and the way we play, it's anything thanks just to Klopp because he create anything. He's uh, he's our god, you know. I never thought I'd see another Bill Shankly, and I have. Simple as that. Yeah, he's a. Uh... He's a very, very special guy. Um, we, we should be relishing every moment that we get to see him uh, yeah, coach our club. And he's going to take us to Paris and, and bring the seventh uh, European title home. Difficult. Listen, it's Real Madrid. They've won 13. But when you see them wearing por la 14 t-shirts, which, which means to the 14 now, it's a little bit um, of, of a motivation really for the Liverpool players, I would say. If I was Klopp, take a picture of that, put it up in the changes and say that's what you've got to go and beat. We're off to Paris, we're going to support our team, we're going to turn Paris red like we do with every city we go to and it's going to be another brilliant day for Liverpool. So looking into you, how, how does it look? Liverpool and Real Madrid, they are the, the aristocracy of football in, in Europe. I love when Jürgen says that they are mentality monsters. The final, it's, it's a big one and when you need to show that, uh, that mentality because the other, Madrid, they are other mentality monsters. So big, big uh, clash that we are going to enjoy. I will feel for one not to, to get it, but whatever happens, Madrid, they will win and Liverpool will win in, in the future and, and we will see it. It's Champions League final, so just enjoy it. Esto es la final de la Champions League en Bet Sport. Love it. Do you remember any Scouse words from your time there? Uh, tala. <laughs> No, 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 I don't, I, I, I don't want to. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think you've got to try and normalise it. I think we all know that the, the, the game is the same game. 22 players on the pitch, two goals, one ball. But that kind of changes when it's the Champions League final and how big that is and the importance of it. Preparing for games like this, I always found it... it just makes you go almost more focused. You can hear a pin drop in the in the you know on the coach on the way to the ground in the dressing room before the game. Normally there's a lot of noise, you know, you're trying to rev each other up and you know for normal domestic games but for the big big ones you're so focused. And by the time kickoff comes you you know there's hardly any noise in the dressing room. As a footballer you quickly learn to deal with a self talk and you sort of you you pull yourself into the right way of thinking rather than thinking about the the occasion you're more likely you train yourself to think about right you know if you're 
I don't know, if you're Benzema, for instance, you'll be thinking about, right, I'm up against Van Dijk. I know I need to, I need to get my first touch good. I need to pull him out of positions. You might have things like that that you, you fall back on. You, and you train yourself not to think about, oh, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be great if we have, we'd have a great night out afterwards or the flight home would be wonderful after the win, things like that. You just train yourself to think on what you can control. I tried not to look at the media. In the, in the days leading up to the, to the final. I, I was always reading the papers for all games normally, but the Champions League final, I chose not to. The three times I played in it, because as you read the papers and the stories get bigger, the occasion gets bigger, and you want to try and play that down as much as possible. And if I was going to predict the score at this minute, I'd say 3-1 to Liverpool. I think Liverpool win comfortably. I don't think it's close. I think Liverpool win it, and I think they'll win it in normal time. Eh, mira, Viti, vamos a empezar aquí. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes. He's in. Yeah. How are you? Good, yeah. Okay, I'm excellent, yeah. yeah. Brilliant season again, mate. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long are you going to play? I don't know. Really. One, two, <laughs> three. Fifty, fifty. Just keep on going. Just keep like on going. Like this Japanese guy. <laughs> <laughs> keep on going, that's yeah. all you want. Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yes, mate. Luca, you've been at this club now a, a long time. What makes it so special? No, I think uh, the... The size of the club, best club in the world, best club in the world, definitely in terms of titles, in terms if you just look Champions League, to win 13 Champions League and to have opportunity to win 14, it's uh, it says a lot about the club. Hi, Carlo. Jurgen Klopp calls his team the mentality monsters. What would you describe your your Real Madrid team like? Yeah, we are strong. The mentality aspect is really good. I think we, we move on. And there is the final for the strong mentality, the character, and uh, the history. Yeah. The history of this club is really important. Each of the ties, we lost a game and we won a game. So uh, we 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 are obviously we know that it, against Liverpool everything is possible. It's a great team. Uh, they showed it this season in the Premier League. They they came second. Uh, yeah, it's a great team uh, with a lot of good players. Uh, so it will be a really intense final, I think. There is no favourite in the final. Liverpool is a great, great team. They they had great season, they are having great season. We beat some big, big teams like Paris, like Chelsea, like Man City. And I think all these teams are, were favourite against us. And how nice is it to, to finish this, this year, having Davide next year on the bench? You know, in 2014 it was Zizou. Now you've got Davide. <laughs> <laughs> really nice to be on the yeah. bench with my with your son. It's one of the best um, experience that you yeah. can ever have to work with your son. It's one of the best experience. Well, thank you very much, Carlo. Anyway, yeah, best, yeah. The best of luck. It should be a fantastic final. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very um, much. Hey, Jamie. And now three days to prepare. A fantastic game. I believe actually really that it's easier um, to, to, to run towards the sun than to, to run away from the fire. It's a massive occasion. It's the biggest game you can imagine. Tell me now a game with two names in, in football. You say, ah, that would be... A little bit bigger. I, I can't. I can't imagine it. Honestly, we, we are looking forward to it. And I've, I come here today, um, and I'm, I, I couldn't have more energy. I would have more energy. It would be really. I probably would feel sick or whatever. It's unbelievable. I, we are here, and we want to go for it, and everything is fine. And we will. We will line up a team, and we will give them a massive fight. So far, two trophies which we've deserved. And um, we've got another opportunity to make that three on Saturday, but we know it will be really tough. It's never going to be easy against a world-class team in Madrid and the experience that they have in the competition. We're proud of, of where we are, but we know we've got one last, one last game, one last kick around um, in France. Let's see, let's see where that takes us. Personally, you, you've won everything at the age of 23. Does it make you greedy for more? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Massively greedy. I'm starving, really. How are you looking at Benzema? Well, to be fair, this season I quite enjoy watching him. I think this is this is the the year when he really feels and probably gets all the credit he deserves. But 
I'm not a bad player myself, so I will look forward to this challenge together with the rest of the, the guys. I couldn't have asked for a better dressing room. The talent, yes, but also the characters, the personalities, the leaders. You couldn't pick a better dressing room for me. It's an honour and a privilege to, to be part of this team. Last year was pain for me to ask me. That's what pushed me to be in who I am now this year. Because I, I believe that last season as a team was not, was not really good. But you lose the goal input in last game was one goal different. <laughs> That's not good. Does that kill your summer? Yeah, it's not came my summer. It was like I, I was so motivated. I was working crazy in the summer. I said, look, next year, I never say that. Next year, I'm going to win both things, goal input and assist. I'm just, I go for both from now. And I was working crazy to win both. And you done it? I done it. I win both. Thanks, God. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider yourself one of the best in the world now? Yeah, I always say that. In my mind, yeah. It doesn't matter if you choose someone or this or not. I respect it. I never go to the, go to the media and say, oh, I'm the best player. I don't say that. But in my mind, yeah. If, if I don't pick myself, I pick Benzema. Thank you.